Hello guys, so we have received a MacBook from a repair shop. This local repair shop and the model number is A1989. So I think they have already done some initial diagnostic. Um, board looked pretty clean to me as you can see from the both sides here and this becomes a little, little bit difficult you know if you don't see anything which requires attention but anyway so at the end seven yeah it's turning on actually Is turning on. Let's check some power supplies. You see, zero here, one point two here. One volt, this is not correct. Here it should be 1.8 or 1.2 for the processor. 3.3 is present, which is a good sign. Main power rail is present. And this is 5 volt. 5 volt is missing. Looks like. Okay, next thing I would like to check if drawing 380 milliamp, if we are getting any. Hotspot. Yeah. It is something hard, but that's uh, not the problem. So the processor is warm. It's not hot. It's warm. That's normal. So uh, well, that's normal. Yeah, that's coming from the back side. It's um, quite sensitive camera, so because it feels like a uh, processor is on, and now it's stuck on 390 milliamp, which is not good. See how clean the board is. It's like brand new. Nothing at this side. Yep. See here. Is there some sort of damage? Let's 
see that but this look just a little bit do you think this should can cause this whole macbook turns down just this really Okay, so let's find the capacitors which we have seen moisture damage. Now uh, this one, these one, two, and three. Especially these two ones. So uh, this is ground, and this is connected to PP Z point six. Okay, it's going to the RAM. And the next one which is more damage is this one here. And this is connected to hundreds of things. See? Hundreds of things. And all this connection web is going to the ramps. So it looks like because it's partially shorted that why maybe the computer MacBook is trying to turn on and then giving up again. So this has to be replaced and uh, should solve our, our problem. Sometimes uh, capacitors not so important to replace and sometimes they are depending where they located so we should be okay because I can see <coughs> this one is intact all good this one is intact and this one is little bit rusty from here but we still have the track see here so that should all be okay ah that was just the rust as you can see see that was just the rust there was no connection so but we have got a little bit of the same track here it's just the capacitor won't be sitting straight that should be no problem let me just dig a little bit more if it's just the rust or Yeah, now nah, we have to do it here. So it should be okay. So remove bit of oxidation. Okay. This capacitor removed from another board. Yep, one here. And one here. Okay.
I'm not quite hopeful if this is the fix, but those capacitors was on a quite serious line, which is jammed, so anyway, yep. And keep an eye on the power supply. To me, it looks same. It started again before. Now it's going up. Before it was stuck 410. Oh yeah, we got the picture. Oh yeah, now nah. got the picture. Okay, my that's all working fine now. Thank you very much for watching. See you in next video. Bye.